you like to do a weather report from a rinky-dink island in the middle of the ocean as a favor to my cousin? Really? Can you believe it, Manny? Temporary professional meteorologist. Woo! Okay, Manny, what about this? Welcome, America. I'm Sam Sparks. Hello, America. Sam Sparks here. America, hi. I didn't see you there. It's me, Sam Sparks. Hello, Sam Sparks. I'm America. It swallow falls degrees and uh, well, let's just go to the mayor. Hmm. I'm Sam. <gasps> Is that a monkey thought translator? Did you make all of this stuff? <gasps> Your machine? Is that what that rocket was? I love it. Look at this. There's the greatest weather phenomenon in history. Hey, aren't you a weather girl? <gasps> You may have seen a meteor shower, but you've never seen a shower meteor than this. Please, 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 please. So when you shot it up into the stratosphere, you figured it would induce a molecular phase change of the vapor from the cumulonimbus layer. That's actually a really smart observation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, pizza? Can it do a BLT? Uh, Bologna! Can. How about jello? Do you like? Jello? I love Jello. I love Jello too. Oh, and peanut butter, right? Oh no, no, I am severely allergic to peanuts. Yeah, hey, me too. So what's it called? Peanut allergy. No, the machine. Of course. <laughs> That's so cute. I can't believe I've been watching this for three hours. I know. <laughs> How about eggs? And toast? Orange juice. And bacon. bacon. Well, those cheeseburgers were only the beginning because a breakfast system is on its way to Swallow Falls. Cold tree in motion. Well, something to be said for enthusiasm. Latest tasty town-wide treat with flurries of frozen fun on what the mayor declared to be an ice cream snow day. A town that is truly a la mode. Um, okay. Wow. Oh, Jello's my favorite. Come on, Sam. What are you waiting for? Nothing. So, Jello. Right, right, right. It's a solid, it's a liquid, it's a viscoelastic polymer made of polypeptide chains. Would you eat it? Okay, well, it was a really long time ago, but I too was a nerd. Two? When I was a little girl, I wore a ponytail, I had glasses, and I was totally obsessed with the science of weather. Other girls wanted a Barbie. I wanted a Doppler Weather Radar 2000 Turbo. But all the kids used to taunt me with this lame song. It wasn't even clever. And I still need these glasses, but I never wear them. Whoa. What? Nothing. I mean, you were okay before, but now you're beautiful. No. I'm not. I can't go out in public like well, this. Why not? I mean, this is the real you, right? Smart, bespectacled. Who wouldn't want to see that? You know, I've never met anyone like you, Flint Lockwood. Me either. But about you. That spaghetti twister was just an amuse-bouche compared to what's on the way. What's an amuse-bouche? Go! We've landed here in some kind of exhaust vent. But if we go this way, the flimitabature should be right down this air shaft. Brent, get out of that pie. You did it, chicken, Brent. You really did it. Flint, you were about to kiss me? Were you gonna kiss me back? Why don't you find out? Because I, I don't want to go for it and then get shut down again. Just kiss you me. Know.
I'm Sparks. In the eight minutes since we saved the world, I've had time to reflect. And I think you and I should have a place together. A place? A place where we work? Do you think we work together? I do. Awesome! Yes! Forecasting devices! Where we can invent fantastic machines like the Flintster from an Earth. Yeah! But not that one. No. Not ever. Never, ever, ever! What shall we call our lab? Oh! How about Sparkswood? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Is that the whole of Cliff Core? Flint, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Morning, Sam! Morning, Flint! Are you ready for your first day? Yeah! Are oh. you? Whoa! Hey Flint, I got your message! Oh. For what it's worth. The people who really care about you think you look great in your lab coat. That's why we'll need help. Look, the climate has shifted dramatically to allow this much vegetation to grow. <gasps> you got a little someone stuck to your pants. <laughs> get it off, get it off me, Sam, Sam! <laughs> hey, wait, wait, stop! Sam, don't touch it. Put it down, put it down. Look at him. <laughs> oh, I think I'll name him Barry. Oh, it's so here, you have caused enough trouble for one day. This entire ecosystem of living food. How is that even possible? I have no idea. I've been carrying him and he hasn't hurt anyone. Yes. A bully turned friend will be friend to the end. Listen, Brent came here to help you. We all did. <laughs> <laughs> Barry, you can't be here. <laughs> you better hide him. Me too. Benoit. What? So true. Huh. Well, maybe it's better here. Okay, Barry, time to go home now. Okay, okay, okay. One more hug, Barry. Maddie? Right. Barry. You, Barry. Babbity. And I'm Sam. Sparks. Yeah, that's that, that, right. That. Sam. Come on, Sam. Come in. Okay, Barry, time to go home now. Now go. <laughs> now you go on home. Bye. Bye. <gasps> A mother? Some of these creatures, they're incredible. <laughs> no, Earl, wait. Chet has been lying to us about these creatures, and I am going to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Ugh. if Chester was really your friend, would he still call you a monkey? <laughs> I think we will work great together. Come on, bring it on in, Mom.